Rim Country News brought to you by Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. Same stop, different horses since 1916. And by Terlucas and Brandt CPA PLLC, with a long history of providing quality CPA services right here in Rim Country. On this Wednesday, April 13th, for Tano TV, K Rim Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson with your Rim Country News headlines. Well, the Gila County Sheriff's officers are expecting to start implementing body cameras in their daily law enforcement efforts after they were awarded a grant last week. The Gila County Board of Supervisors accepted the grant of over $100,000 with plans to purchase 85 body cameras and related equipment to be used by the GCSO patrol units. Gila County Sheriff's officers will be trained in the use of cameras with the hope that they'll help provide some civility, transparency, and trust during officers' interactions with citizens. GCSO would join Payson Police and a growing number of departments around the state in their use of body cameras. Although it's not law in Arizona, seven other states, including Colorado and New Mexico, now mandate the use of body-worn cameras by law enforcement officers. Well, taking a look at other news, if you haven't visited the Tano National Monument near Roosevelt Lake uh, recently, well, this Saturday, April 16th, brings a fine reason to see spring wildflowers and to take the half-mile hike up to explore Gila County's exceptional and only national park. Hiking to the lower cliff dwelling takes about one hour, a round-trip walk on a paved, scenic, and steep path. And why is the monument fee-free on Saturday, along with other national parks and monuments? Well, the national parks and monuments are uh, admission-free on five special days during 2022, when all National Park Service sites that normally charge an entry fee waive that $5 fee to all visitors. April 16th is the next of these, the first day of National Park Week, as a matter of fact. And mark your calendar for August 4th. That's the anniversary of the Great American Outdoors Act, National Public Land Days on September 24th, and Veterans Day, November 11th. Tano National Monument was established, by the way, in 1907 and protects famous cliff-dwelling sites. The lower cliff dwelling is one of two large sites accessible to the public and is primarily is uh, the primary site visited throughout the year. Tano National Monument, by the way, lies in the heart of Salado country, a term that describes the prehistoric culture group living in the Tano Basin area between 1250 and 1450 AD, but also encompasses a particular group of artifacts. Well, coming up in Rim Country weather, a very cold start to the morning will give way to breezy, dry, and warmer conditions later today and through the weekend. A complete report on what you can expect for the next seven days is coming up next. You're watching Rim Country News. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Jake started out as an Arizona stage stop way back in 1916 and folks have been stopping here ever since. Jake's also has been famous as a popular stopping spot for travelers headed to Rim Country or Roosevelt Lake. But as more people discover this historic stop, more and more, it becomes the destination. It was even featured in the 2008 movie Jake's Corner and later featured at the Sedona Film Festival. Ice cold beers from the tap, imported or specialty beers, a generously stocked full bar, and great food that keeps you wanting to come back again and again. Enjoy a game of pool inside, or step out and enjoy the covered patio and outdoor bar with live entertainment and much more. We hope to see you soon at one of the most historic stopping spots in Arizona. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Hi, I'm Michael Dowling with the Old County Inn and Pinewood Tavern. So we've been using True Lucas and Brandt probably for the last four years. They've been really awesome to work with, um, Amy and Marguerite. They do everything now from pretty much all of our payroll needs, pay all of our taxes. They even help us uh, on Fridays to pick up our checks, which is great since they're local. But I pretty much use them for everything. They've been awesome to work with and they take off all the things I don't have to worry about as far as taxes go so I can concentrate on my business. But as for now, they're pretty much doing all of my personal taxes, 
all of our payroll needs, all of our business taxes, and very affordable and just awesome to work with, and they're local. So we really appreciate them and they've been a great partner with us so far. Well, taking a look now at your Rim Country seven day weather forecast, the only issue of note this morning will be the cold and dry air mass that has settled across northern Arizona. Clear skies and strong radiational cooling will deliver a widespread hard freeze with teens above 6,500 feet and the 20s across much of the rest of the area. Now, after this morning's low temperatures, conditions improve through the remainder of the week. Now, uh, later today into early next week, a zonal westerly flow will set up across the southwest United States and dominate the weather into early next week. Typical for spring, gusty southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles an hour, gusting to near 30 miles an hour, will develop each afternoon. A couple weak and dry short wave disturbances are pretty likely to result in a bit stronger afternoon winds on Saturday and again next Monday or Tuesday. Now with zonal flow in place, a mild air mass will embrace Arizona. The result, daytime temperatures will climb into early next week with high temperatures perhaps uh, reaching the low to mid 90s for our lower desert areas in central Arizona like down here in Tano Basin. Otherwise, a few high clouds and typical overnight temperatures are what you can expect. Meanwhile, highs and lows around rim country today, now they should be looking something like this. In Payson today, you can expect beautiful sunny skies, winds gusting around 20 miles an hour, and the high in Payson today is only expected to be right around 60 degrees. Tonight, still kind of cold, even with the winds dying down, Payson's low tonight should be down near 34 degrees. Up on top of the rim at Forest Lakes, well, a little windier up there today, as uh, things are still going to warm up only to a high of about 51 with some strong breezes up there and the winds are gusting to near 20 miles an hour tonight too. That means that low of 25 and that's going to feel more like 3 degrees. Yow! Well a bit more comfortable down here in Tano Basin today with an expected high near 71. Not, a, not quite as windy in the basin today however winds will pick up a bit tonight down here gusting to near 25 miles an hour, and the low in the basin tonight should be down around 43 degrees. And that's what's happening around Rim Country. For Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great Hump Day Wednesday.